Alright, time for a Atalia game. Uh, this will be a beginner's guide to Atalia, so I'll explain to you in as much detail as possible how to play this champion. And yeah. Uh, also, you load this game. It's getting up there a little bit more than I would like, really, at this point for beginner's videos. This is like low platinum, pretty much. But uh, yeah, I just have a few left, so I guess it is what it is. <laughs> gotta, gotta get through that for the last couple of champions. Maybe my team's reaction capabilities are going to be slightly better than what you would usually uh, be expecting. But hey. I'm right, gonna use my Q here. Uh, two times to place better ground for this camp so i'm just gonna actually like this is why i also back slightly earlier on telia because you can place the ground that you can see twice when you get here and this will stun the camp instantly which is actually quite nice because i could just use this does good damage stuns the camp quite fa quite instantly and then you can stun it once again and this way like the, the person leashing for you also doesn't take any damage which is really nice so i do like doing this now, Atelia's kit's pretty straightforward, really. Um, you have your Q, which just throws the volley, right? Your E throws out the field here. And then your uh, W knocks the target backwards. Like, you have to, like, hold it down and then drag your mouse into the, the correct direction to get it. And then if you knock them back over your E, they'll get CC'd and damaged. Uh, this also works for enemies that just have dashes by themselves, like Jack's Q, for example. A Jack's Q will automatically proc your E. So if you throw your E on top of Jax when he's about to Q, then you can use that to your advantage uh, to, you know, CC him, do damage to him for free. And that is a way to use it as well. So any type of displacement will proc your E. And that's, uh, that's really that. So for the clear here, I'll be taking... I'm just going to go for the full clear since it's just very consistent. I would just recommend doing that for the most part. And I'll be taking my second point in Q because that's your main clear speed source, right? Actually gonna use this hit the red buff with it okay and then we just kind of kite it as you can see i'm practically full hp i don't i have a potion but you don't really need it on this champion at all especially if you use like the stun tactic on the first buff because that's like the thing that hurts you the most uh so you're kind of chilling but yeah you like you, as you can see the q you know first throws the volley out uh, if you stand close enough it can like hit aoe as well like a small hitbox that just like overlaps a little bit that you can use potentially there you go one q gets, kills everything in one shot and then we have w as you can see this throws out your w you need to like hold it down and then drag it in the correct direction uh, so this is warded it's not warded could maybe look for something here the wave is gonna walk walk back slightly forward if, t if this guy lands a snare on anyone here, this is free. Please land something, please land something. Nope. Threw that skill shot too late. That was the first skill shot she had to throw for that to work, because she could have hit the Kai'Sa with that. Oh, this is a free kill if I've ever seen one. Uh, for Atelia's pass, if you want to try to hug walls, if you hug walls, you have more movement speed. Ah, just hit him with the E. I was, like, I was initially planning on queuing the guy. Pop the potion here as well. Knock him backwards there quickly. Yeah, that's just on top of myself. Gotta knock him backwards. Gotta throw this out. This will keep him safe because Jax can't jump in that in that situation. Got the Dark Harvest proc, which is all I wanted in that scenario. And now I have to respect Zara's range. So we're just gonna be careful here. Jax is gonna take Bolt Scuttle, which is fine. I'll take my reset and we'll build towards uh, this item here. Wolf Chapter first. That's a beautiful recall. That's not too bad. Uh, we need to back ping here. Because Jax was like bot side. Needs to uh, be pinged out. There he is. He didn't walk like this. He actually walked into his own jungle, which is pretty good to know, I suppose. I'm actually, because of his position right now, instantly just going to walk for Void Grubs. Ooh, no, I'm walking top lane. This guy has no mana. That's free. Because Ilawi has no mana, I'm doing this, by the way. Like, if she had more mana, I would not do this. But she has literally zero mana. There's nothing she can do. Throw that. He can't ult. Like, she doesn't have mana for ult. But I also just apparently can't damage him enough. Hello? Huh? Jesus Christ, man. 
All right, got him. Jesus. <laughs> that was actually pretty scary. Her hitting six there was pretty damn scary. I'm gonna help him shove. I didn't... I mean, I need to just push this into the turret as fast as I can. So he gets to do that for free. I currently cannot go for Void Grubs anymore. I opted for this guy. Um, I mean, she hit six. Pretty scary, but she still didn't have mana, so it was kind of fine. But me being level four against her level six was very scary. And I didn't hit land my skill shots. Jax is bot lane, so I can probably still do the Void Grubs then. Yeah, this could be very risky, actually. Let's pick these up. Group them together. Just throw this, really. This, it, there we go. Just focus on the first one. I'm just going to smite it. And I'm just going to focus these down. You can see Q does a large amount of damage to them. They're chilling. And then one more. Going top after this is going to be pretty stupid because she's going to have ult and she now has mana, so I have to respect that. So I feel like this is not going to end up being a kill, but my, my Garen is going very aggressive, so maybe in some universe this could work. Do that. Did not throw my E in time. Tried to like keep distance so she can't hit her E on me. Did end up working out, but I did get hit by the E, which is a bit scary. That is what that's scary. Oh my god. This is like such a scary event with these that hitting me. God damn it, man. <laughs> uh, ganking, like, ganking this guy and Alawi at any given moment is such a scary thing because she can just so easily kill you. Especially being like a squishy mage like Talia. It's very, very scary stuff. Knock that thing back, throw him on the E. Should be able to get the scuttle here pretty quickly. That's actually pretty gankable. I'm gonna send the ult on this one, if possible. Dash with it. That's not the best placement on that, but still dead. And right there with your R, you just use it, and then you click it one time. That is a pike mid. I'm gonna have to respect here. I don't know where Jax is. I am very low HP as well. But yeah, just use your R. Always, I always try to, like, get the vision of it, you know, get the range of it. And then you can R, and then you just simply click it one time, and then you can follow the R, and you're good. Don't try to overclick that thing, because then you're gonna get in trouble. Uh, but you can cut him off from the backside, cut their escape path off. We know he didn't have flash, so it was pretty free. At this point in time, I never want to go back to all plan, because at this point in time, the Alawi is just way too scary to deal with. I seriously just don't want to do it. No oh god. Bike is going to sh mess me up big time. Oh no, this is this is really annoyingly bad actually. I didn't get my E off in time. Oh screw you, bike. It's also like I shouldn't have greeted. I shouldn't have walked back. But it's like he does this against my like priority having mid lane at that moment in time and the mid laner doesn't rotate for it either, so Pike realistically should have completely died for that one. But I got greedy as well. I shouldn't have tried to walk back around. Pike just got a double kill. My god, that's a rotation and a half right there. Alright, that's my bad as well for greeting. I should have just left my Gromp and just recalled. That would have been way smarter. I guess learn from that. You know, don't make the mistake I did. Oh, fair enough. Very good rotation from Pike then. I just need to clear my camps now. Like, everything is up here. I just can't... I cannot not clear them. I've been uh, focusing on getting quite a few ganks off because they have been, walk like, getting into my path, essentially. Just W it, and then, like, while you W throw it backwards, you just simply E on that. Pike is actually very strong now after getting that double kill. He has teleport, too. Oh, God. Okay, Quokmar, like, what is this? I'm gonna run bolt here as quick as I can, I think. Because that's not looking good for Kokma right now. It's looking really bad for Kokma right now. Oh, and a theory, what are you doing? Try to hug the wall here. Alright, got him. I was trying to, like, put it slightly ahead of him, so he'd have to walk into it if he wants to walk back to his turret. But I hit him with a W in the first place, so that was the main thing I needed to hit him with. Throw him back into me. 
Very spicy. Did get the shutdown off the guy though, which is really good. Cut, him, cut his escape path off. The good flash. My guy is like absolutely useless at doing nothing or what? I feel like, ah, oh, whatever. He flashed, it's fine, I suppose. Oh, there's a pike there. This pike is on for the rotation. I cannot do void grubs whatsoever. I'm gonna have to give him to Jax. My Garen just died and pike is up for the rotation once again. Uh, this is flashed down on their mid laner though, so that could work pretty well. Uh, for like a uh, like a future gank pretty much. Make sure E second. I need to clear my bot side now. Okay. I'm assuming... Yeah, there it is. I was about to say, I'm assuming these void grubs are gonna die any moment now. There's no way I could have contested it. Like, even if I'm, like, maybe stronger than Jax, like, the pike rotation would have made it impossible for me. As well as my uh, top laner dying. The spike is putting in absolute work for the rotations here. Fresh stone for a fresh start. I can probably do this. Unless this is also warded. Pike is going to come this way, right? I have 2,000 gold, so I do have to respect that, but... There is no way, no, absolutely no way that my bot lane is just, like, refusing to rotate for this one. That was a close one. The good thing here is that my E, like, she dashed through the E, uh, which I placed pretty effectively for that. Uh, so she doesn't get to, well, you know, do anything. Because the moment they dash through it, they get stunned, which is what happened there, so she couldn't hit me back. Which saved my life. <laughs> so I'm particularly happy about that one, you know. <laughs> oh god. The top lane is very scary here. Uh, I, I did get a lot of successful ganks off. Gave my mid laner a lead and all that. But this pike is keeping their enemy team in a very good position right now. He's doing very good work for their team with those rotations. Six kill participation out of eight is huge. This is going to be like a triple kill for this Alawi. I, I already kind of know it. This Nefiri is going to end this ult. Gonna pull her shadow. That's a flash used. Okay, that's all I can do. This does mean dragon's just completely gone, most likely, but yeah. Oh no, they're losing bot lane. I kind of want to ult mid here. Nah, he's gonna walk away. There's the dragon. I mm, I shouldn't have gone top lane, I think. That's a mistake on the dragon. My, my, like, my team, compared to them, it's just used... I mean, I guess my bot lane compared to just Pike. Pike is doing work. Absolute work. He is just single-handedly carrying the enemy team right now. So I gotta respect that one, I suppose. Oh, this is warded, I see. Auto-attack it while we queue the big one. This guy's unkillable. The fact that this guy has like 40 CS down on the Alawi is absolutely wild. Actually. Very interesting. The game is going to get pretty damn difficult, I think. Alawi is just gonna permanently win over Garen. Which I find relatively surprising, but I guess it's fair enough. Bike top. Just keep like clearing my camps at least decently. But that bike is going for it. That's not enough for the kill. Mm, they're li just letting Pike live, really? I don't know about this one. I couldn't get that position. The, the stun clipped me on the side there, like, damn. Just hug the wall. That's just nothing I can do. I mean, the good thing here is I did kill, did kill Kai'Sa on bot lane, which I guess is pretty nice, but... Yeah, it's looking a little sketch at the moment. Can you land your... What is that skill shot placement? That was not even close, mate. What do you mean? Jesus. If that thing lands on the Zerath, Zerath insta dies, because I can then just put my W on him for free, because it's a CC. Which would be ideal. This guy should be dead here, 100%, yeah. Didn't step back into it, unfortunately. 
All right. That's good damage. Jax is gonna be here soon. I do have to respect it. Who's going AP Jax too? That's actually better for me. Did Alari just like take a bunch of my camps? I don't know. I, like at the moment, I just feel kind of overwhelmed in pressure. Like I can't actually play for anything correctly because their pike is just having every single ounce of pressure you can possibly want for the enemy team. So the Jax actually just gets complete free reign to take like all the dragons and everything he wants basically. Which is very, very tough to play against. Gonna have to respect the fact that Pike is playing well here. No, you... My stones would have killed him as well. Oh my god. Dude. I stunned him and then... Uh, it just didn't do enough damage. He executes me with his R. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I'm behind in experience as well. Like, I'm trying to gank a lot here uh, to help my team out of these situations that they're just straight up losing, even after, like, getting a lead in the first place. That should be a free kill, free return kill. Okay, good. But this pike is playing so well. Very respectable from the for the pike then, obviously. Doing a good job. Just kill him. What do you mean? Actually, no, 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 Larry's going to fuck him up. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, he's probably going to take all my bot side camps now, I would imagine. Let's just hit the plant. You're dead now, Jax. Goodbye. What do you mean? He flashed already, so he should get hit by that for free. There we go. Perfect. Use my R to close, like, the distance at the end after they, like, use their flashes to get away from me and just get correct placement, try to kite them correctly, and I should be good. Very nice double kill. 36 seconds on this dragon. I don't actually know if I can take that one. I would hope so. That was not too bad. Yeah, my team is, is looking very scary. <laughs> they are uh, dying a lot. I think we do have scaling advantage, maybe? Maybe. I'm not sure on that one, though. Absolutely not sure on that one, right now. Uh, we are not going to be able to get this, are we? I have a quite a large amount of gold, which is not good. I need my bot lane to get here. I don't want to start the dragon, that would not be good. This guy is just dead. Okay, perfect. I wanted to look for a pick over just starting Dragon there, because that would help me a lot more. Uh, you flash... Yeah, that's a very good play. Ah, uh, he just flashes on me like that. There's nothing I can do. It's a good flash. But my team should win this, though. So that's all I care about. Me dying is not the greatest, but, I mean, obviously, if, like, the flash is used and all that, it's not too bad. I need the Zonias, though. To prevent that from happening again. It's all good. Not, that's not necessarily a problem. Like, obviously, dying is not great. Uh, but I'm not running Magi, so it's not a big of a deal. Dying and him flashing for me like that. But my team's still overall winning the fight. Because, obviously, we insta-killed Zareth here. And then, like, if they focus a bunch of stuff on me, it's not too bad. I was not worth the largest shutdown here. My team is actually worth more shutdowns across the board these days. So that means they are kind of climbing it back a little bit. <laughs> Which is not too bad, I suppose. Come. Are you serious? Don't give the guy the, the free, like... Where, wait, Alawi didn't stick around? What do you mean? Okay. Oh, this is not good. Ah, she's dead. Ballsy. Right, let me just clear as much as possible here. I feel like this pike is just gonna mess me up here. I'm smiting this and I'm walking away. I need to walk respectfully against the wall here. I cannot disrespect Pike and Jax rotating on me here, so I have, just have to leave. I just get to, he just gets to deny my camps here, but at least I got the blue buff for the team. I suppose at this moment in time, the only play I have is really just go for Kaisa, I believe. Pike is making my life a nightmare. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Okay, well, like hopefully, I hope he doesn't die to this, like, because it was completely telegraphed what the hell was going on with that one. Yeah, he does die for that one, yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, my clear speed is pretty much instant now. My damage is very good. My scaling on this champion is also really good, while also having a good early game, so that's not bad. Oh god. Um, I am in ult range, so I could potentially just send this. Click on this side. Turn my R off. Dead. Perfect. He stepped up slightly too far and I burst her down. That's good. Keep moving a bit here as well. That's a good kill. Very good. We can Baron. This is an Insta Baron. Insta Baron. I guarantee being bolt's not particularly the best move you can possibly see here, but you know. Whatever. Gonna pray that Nefiri tanks this with her minions, which she does. That's good. Yeah, now this is extremely scary. Like, I don't know, Garen's decision right here to go bolt instead of just coming to Baron was not the right move. We just have to leave now. That's really sad. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Garen actually just teleported bot lane. Like, that's criminal behavior right there. If he just teleports to Baron, we get the Baron for free. That would have been, like, so much better. Worth. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, Garen obviously, for some reason, decides after we win a fight like that to teleport bot lane instead of just teleporting to Baron. Nah. Over Baron? I don't think so, mate. Oh, God. No, that's... Yeah, I did not pay attention. I wasn't paying attention! Ah, this is really bad, man. I did not pay attention. I was looking at something else. The chat there. That got me killed instantly. Really, really bad. That's gonna cost me Baron now, likely, too, isn't it? Oh, what am I doing? I, that's... Yeah, always pay attention. Just ignore the chat. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? That's the only reason I died as well, because I could have prevented the entire thing from happening, but I just wasn't, like, zoned into it. This guy, is he gonna get him? No, he's not. Ah, oh, I hate that for myself. I, I'm, that's, yeah, that's not good. That is a free death. I could have outplayed that for sure. Really bad behavior for me. Ignore my chat from now on, no more typing. That was bad. Guess I go bot lane here. This guy is getting absolutely stomped. By the way, like completely stormed. Good damage. Could be dead. Oh come on! I need to walk away from this because that thing, that tentacle thing, is going to kill me otherwise. I just hit those flat things, please. Thank you. Very good. I mean, that's a good kill. If we take those. Okay, let's go for this guy. Yep, nice. I placed my uh, my E in such a manner that he can't dash. Like, if he starts to dash in the other direction, he's instantly dead, which is exactly what I did. Because he then dashes over my E and takes all the damage, right? We need Baron or we need Dragon Team. Can we please? Come on, there is no way they get this. Oh god, that hurts so much. This is AP Kaisa, this is AP Kaisa, Jesus Christ. I need a Banshees. Can you stop doing stupid stuff and go for the objective, my guy, please? Jesus. There is no way, man. They're just like completely turret diving instead of just going for a simple objective. That's crazy. That's fine. I don't know if we can do this. I think we can. Oh, this is not ideal. I... yeah. I need to do that. Alright, well... I see. Ah! Uh, you know, it's so... It's, it, this is painful. The fact that Garen is diving turrets there instead of just going simply for the objective or like trying to go for a fight is absolutely wild to me. Because we are losing so much pressure there, and Alawi just gets to like split push instead of doing the objective quickly, you know? It's really bad. 
the scary stuff. And I'm also a very squishy mage, which is scaring me even more. This is not good. An enemy has been slain. See if we can maybe kite out the dragon here. If they're doing it or not doing it, that's good. They might actually be doing Baron here. I think they are doing Baron? Oh god, and he teleported bot lane. Oh. They just got the dragon. There's nothing I could do, man. Like, it's just my team is not there. They're like... Uh, they're making this as difficult on me as they can. Playing, like, for random turret dives instead of just getting the fucking objective. It's so annoying. Like, I can't 1v3 them either or something like that, right? Like, I have to just have to deal with them doing this. Like, going for, like, a mid-dive here between two turrets. Or, like, going for the bot teleport instead of just going for a Baron. Really hard. The stuff like this sucks to play with, but, uh, you know, I can't help it. It is what it is. Okay, I have a Zonias now, which is good. I need a Banshees as well. Boy, oh boy. Downside of Batalia, right? Like, squishy mates, you know? If they have a lot of, like, dive potential on you, it's pretty hard. With no front line. Let's take all of this. Some of my XP up. Throw another rock. I have found my quarry. It's not happening. It's just not happening. The rotation isn't there. Okay. Good, 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 good. Cut off her escape path completely there, so that's not too bad. Now the question becomes, like, we have to kill this guy first, right? We have to rotate on this Alawi. Throw my E over here. There's the Alawi. Do not overextend my space there, because if I walk into the R, I'm dead. So I have to be respectful. I do know I have Zonias, but I do not want to be wasting my Zonias on stuff like that. That would not be good. And I'm just going to start praying that we can actually get the Baron, please. Stay on a distance here with Telia. You do not want to walk in close. Because whoever walks in close uh, tanks the Baron, and that will be the person that... Who's dead? Perfect. Get the Baron. Should be a dead bike here as well. not happening apparently lovely there is no way jesus christ why like why is my team walking so far back when it's just a free play i don't understand it that's a kill They were, they were in this situation, all they had to do is just kind of walk with me, and it's completely free. Because if they engage on me, they're all going to die anyway. Uh, but, like, they all just stepped back. To, like, from... I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't know why. Whatever, it is fine. This is uh, scary scary stuff here, man. Because on Talia, right, I have to create that distance. I have to be on distance. They have so much poke damage as well. Like, I really, really need my Banshees right now to have magic resist. Alright, I don't have enough, sadly, but I can buy the components at least. I th actually? Oh, I can't. Ooh, boy. Alright, well, it is what it is. Move out of base. Five man this guy, so he dies quickly. Perfect. On distance, just hit him with distance. That's all you have to do. Trying to land a good burst combo. We need this dragon. Should be doable with Alawi dead. And I can go buy my Banshees as well. 
I need Garen not to die right now. Like, if he dies right now, that'd be horrible. Oh my god. We got the pick on the enemy top laner just like two seconds ago, and then the best thing Garen decides to do is instantly return the favor. Like, that's wild. We have a numbers advantage, and he just throws it. So sad. Still good damage. My, like, I don't land anything else, but that's still good damage. Chase this guy with Q damage. My ult's up in two seconds, so I can use that to cut him off here. Dash with it. This guy's dead as well, perfect. And then hopefully we can do the dragon. Garen does have teleport. Uh, Zareth has nothing left, I believe. I believe he flashed, so it should be free. Place the ward as well for like the vision and the teleport potential for the Garen. Nice. We got at least this dragon. That's good. This is getting better and better. I really just need to get a death cap and then I'll be fine. My AP will skyrocket. My damage will skyrocket. And I'm just going to start one shooting the enemy team. But for so far, this game has been spicy. You know, many, many, many throws. Many bad decisions to lose objectives and stuff like that as well. He needs some doors to lost. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh boy. Top planner. What are you doing, my guy? Crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, it is what it is. I almost have one more large world, which is decent, I suppose. I'm almost level 18 as well. I want to get the blue buff here. Give this one to my team. I'm gonna have to respect Jax here a little bit. I'm gonna defend top third, I suppose, while I'm at it. Oh, my Korkma's dead, that's bad. Uh, stop inting, please! Please, please, team, just stop dying by yourselves. It's really annoying. <laughs> These solo deaths right now are absolutely brutal. I'm just gonna clear this wave instantly and then hopefully go bot lane pretty quickly to try to defend. Try to hug his walls. I need to, like, hold top wave, but also, like, go bot here. I guess I have to hold mid wave as well. Okay, that's flesh used. I blocked that one. Okay, fine. Dude, if that hits me one more time, I'm instantly dead, I think. Stupid Kaisa thing. Oh, is my team losing this fight? Oh, no way. Actually, Kaisa's dead here, right, surely? Good, 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 good. That's decent. Also won the bot lane fight situation. Gonna have to run top to defend the wave now. Okay, my team is my team is doing better, you know? There's something. That's actually good. She just had no has no E now. Doesn't reach barely. Dude, this dude's tanky as hell. Pokemon will obliterate him though, so that's all that matters really, I guess. Very good, very good. All right, Baron in 26. Let's see if my team wants to play for it. Because we have so many deaths here. Like, this is just an Insta Baron. It has to be an Insta Baron. Jax is dead, Alawi is dead. There's nothing they can do on this Baron. If we just, as long as we do it, like, on spawn, we should be free. Home free for this one. But this does require my Nefiri not to be AFK bot lane and my Garen to show up for it. I'm not tanking this. Oh, Garen, you're finally here. Welcome. Got it. Perfect. Oh, you're oh I'm dead. Oh, dude. That one thing insta-kills me. Are you kidding me? I didn't see it. I just straight up didn't see it. Fair play, man. Okay, I mean, we, at least we got the Baron, but I just gave the, the Kai'Sa 900 gold, like... God. The fact that, like, two Ws just kill me like that is wild. It's actually just straight up wild. That one W just absolutely deleted me off the map. How much damage did that do? Yeah, look at this then. Holy moly. She got the passive proc on me as well, apparently. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Alright, well, it is what it is. I at least got the Baron for the team. 
I would have liked to, to do it a, a bit like more fast, like a bit faster with Nefiri actually there and like Garen actually there on spawn, but that was not helpful or that was not going to happen apparently. All right, I need to play on distance, play behind my team. Do not get hit by Kaisa Ws. That's a big one. Oh, please. If she lives here, that'd be huge. Okay, she doesn't, but this guy should die as well. Korkma has this for sure. Korkma, please don't stop auto-attacking. You saw him, like, not auto-attack there for a little bit. The moment he stopped, I got scared. Because if he gets one, like, if the Kai'Sa gets one proc, it's instantly over for Kokma. Luckily, it's a Kokma late game. Like, you know, the champion skills very, very well. So that's good. Can I need this Garen to move. Oh, lovely. As if it could not get any better. Oh, <laughs> no way. I should be able to f check most things here. Walking backwards to allow Kokma space here. Very good. This dragon. This guy can never do enough damage with those ults. And their team can't follow this up. I'm happy I have a Kokma, man. This guy, is this guy is playing pretty well with his scaling now. Like, he's doing good damage. This would have been brutal otherwise. <laughs> oh, God. Slowly but surely, I suppose. Okay, that's scary. That's not good. At the flesh there, sadly. That's me gonna die. I'm gonna die if she hits me with one more of those. Like, actually. I suppose that's good. Turn my wall off. Pull it. Chase him. Are you serious? Oh, I'm so sad. Whatever. He is just slightly too fast for me and outran my Q there. That would have been really nice. Just leave, it's fine. Just literally just leave, please. Uh, he's gonna go for his reds. I'll take his blue real quick while I'm running, well, whilst I'm running out. I'm also gonna get my death cap on my next back, which is very good. What a, what a sketchy game. <laughs> what an absolutely sketchy game. Jesus Christ. Oh, Garen's gonna die. With that positioning, I already know it. Right, let me get my death cap, please. Like, actually. He, 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 you cannot die right now. Like, you are such dangerous territory at the moment, my guy. Got that, at least. Oh, yep, there it goes. Oh, God. I don't... Actually, okay, okay. I mean, he's full AP jacks. So I guess he gets one shot. That's not bad. I didn't... I mean, usually you would expect jacks to, like mess the Garen up big time, I think, but yeah, in this case, I guess not. My ult's off cooldown here soon, so I might be able to cut off the Kai'Sa. Cut him off with the wall. He make sure he can't dash. The moment he dashes, he dies, is what happened there. Beautiful. Just pushing the wave here. Catching people off guard with the R there is very good. I'm gonna push all the waves in alongside Bolt. I need to move in behind Bolt lane here. Hug the walls for the movement speed. Alright, Kokma has him. Kokma has this guy as well, most likely, but... Jesus, that healing is crazy. But I mean, they're dead now, so I think this is game. Hopefully. Hopefully this is game. My god. That was something. Walk past this to get here and just right click the third and we should be good, I hope. My god. Okay, well, that's it for Talia. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to like button below. Helps me out quite a bit. And I'll see you guys in the endgame stats.
All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 43.6k damage, which is the second highest behind Kogma. Uh, scary one in this game was just the lack of frontlining, really, which allowed them to like dive me quite easily at some points, which was a bit of a problem. Pike played extremely well to deny me just a straight up snowball win because he snowballed some kills backwards. Admittedly, I greeted as well on the Gromp. If I didn't do that, I would have been better off, I think, as well. Uh, but yeah, very well played from Pike to hold his team in this game. And yeah, obviously the Garen's shenanigans made it way more difficult than it had to be. Because we lost a Dragon and a Baron to it, I believe. Like the, the chances of getting both, which would have snowballed us much faster. But, you know, Kogma's scaling kicks in. The, ch the guy played pretty well, but the champion itself is just extremely strong late game. Uh, so there was very good damage coming out from Kogma at 58k. I did 43k, which is a very respectable amount as well. Nothing wrong with that. Right, true damage at 3,800, and yeah, nothing else to really look at there. Objective damage at 61.9k, healing done at 15k, damage taken, the least, which is actually good. Like, this needs to be the case, because I would get apps, like, I could just get deleted. Like, I have to play safe, I need to rely on my team to, like, have, like, get engaged on so I don't get bursted, and I can use, like, the distance for the Qs and the Es and stuff to make fights as hard as possible. So this is actually good to see that I have the least damage taken here. Not too bad. Uh, Self-mitigated damage, also at the lowest. This is all the stuff we want to see. Like, we want to, as like a bit of a squishy mage, you want to have like very low damage taken. A gold earned at 19.1k. I was practically full build, so there's nothing else I could build anyway, but yeah. Still solid. Uh, for the runes, Dark Harvest dealt about 3,000 damage, which is very good. Cheap shot for about 1,300 damage. Abo collection for the extra AP. Treasure Hunter for the scaling speed. And then Absolute Focus and Water Walk. And you can also go Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm if you want for better scaling. Uh, but yeah, you can also replace Treasure Hunter, by the way, for uh, Relentless Hunter as well for even more movement speed, which could be useful. But that's about it. In this situation, I could potentially still sell my boots for like even more magic penetration if I need it, like uh, uh, Void Staff, for example. But the enemy team wasn't particularly like tanky, apart from like Alawi, I suppose. So I didn't really need much extra magic penetration. I was the only AP on my team as well, I believe. I mean, Kogma's like hybrid damage does quite a bit of AP damage, so there is that. But for the rest, I am indeed the only AP, so they couldn't really stack too much magic resist anyway. So I didn't really need any magic penetration in that regard. Uh, but yeah, that is it for Talia. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like button below. I'll spend quite a bit. Uh, I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye.